Mickey Mouse and the Missing Mouseketeers. Disneyland was all agog. Main Street was hung with banners. Welcome Mickey Mouse Club, they said. Television trucks prowled up and down with men on top peering into cameras. They were going to shoot the whole Mickey Mouse Club show right there in Disneyland. In his office above the police station, Mickey Mouse was talking into two phones at once and giving other orders out of the corner of his mouth because he was the master of ceremonies and producer of the show. Wow, said Mickey, mopping his brow as he hung up one of the phones. I hope nothing slips up. Guess I'd better check. So he hurried off by Surrey to Adventureland where Donald Druck was in charge. Everything set for the foreign correspondent section of the show, Mickey asked. All set, said Donald, and he whizzed Mickey all around Adventureland. Sure enough, the monkeys were chattering, and the parrots were screaming, and the crocodiles were grinning, and the hippos were yawning fiercely all along the Jungle River's ride. Super, said Mickey. This will make a great Far Places show. Then off he galloped to Frontierland. Is everything set for the big cowboy thriller? He asked Daisy Duck. Yes, Mickey, said Daisy. Go along and see. So Mickey hopped into his stagecoach and whizzed all around the painted desert. Sure enough, every cowboy, every Indian, every make-believe bad man, every stagecoach was in place for the TV cameras to shoot that Wild West thriller. Colossal, said Mickey with a grin. Then he stepped into his Surrey again and rode off to Tomorrowland. Everything set here for the big freeway race? He asked Goofy, who was in charge there. We're shooting it for the Mickey Mouse newsreel today, you know. Yup, 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 said Goofy. And from high up in the rocket ship, they looked down on the whole freeway, all ready for the race. Fantastic, chuckled Mickey. Then back into his Surrey he jumped and away he rode to Fantasyland. Over the drawbridge he thundered. Hi-ho, Minnie, he cried. Are the Mouseketeers all set for the show? Only an echo answered. Hi-ho, set for the show, said the echo. For everyone in Fantasyland was fast asleep. The guards were asleep at the castle gates. What's the matter? cried Mickey Mouse. They act enchanted. That's it. Malfishin, who put the Sleeping Beauty to sleep, has been at work again. So off ran Mickey to the Peter Pan ride. The ticket seller was fast asleep, but Mickey knew his way around. He jumped into a magic pirate ship and away he flew, away over London town, past the second star to the right, and into Neverland. Below in their lagoon, the mermaids were sleeping. The Indian village lay deep in sleep. How about the pirates and bad Captain Hook, thought Mickey to himself, for they were nowhere to be seen. Strange, said Mickey. The good people are all asleep, and the bad ones are gone. This looks like a plot. I must find a way to rescue Minnie and the Mouseketeers. As soon as Mickey landed his flying ship, up dashed the TV truck with a cameraman on top. Nearly time, they cried. Where are Minnie and the Mouseketeers? Enchanted, cried Mickey. Go on with the show. Shoot the newsreel in Tomorrowland, the foreign correspondent piece in Adventureland, the Wild West story in Frontierland. I'll try to rescue the Mouseketeers in time for the show. Away went the TV truck out over the castle drawbridge, and Mickey raced to the Seven Dwarfs Mine. He hopped to a mine car, and away he rode, deep down into the mine. Not a sound did he hear of a hammer or a pick, for the dwarves were fast asleep at their work, but the wicked witch, who usually stood close by the path, offering poisoned apples to those who came along, the wicked witch was gone. Just as I thought, said Mickey to himself. The bad people have got Minnie and the Mouseketeers. 
Mickey glanced at his watch. The show was on the air. There was not a moment to lose. He snatched up a sword and shield he had brought from the magic shop, and away he started, deeper into the mine. Whiz! A sword stroke zipped past his nose. It was bad Captain Hook keeping watch over the dwarves. What a fight Mickey had with him. But Mickey's sword flashed faster than light. Captain Hook was soon worn out. Tell me, cried Mickey, tickling the bad man's chest with his sword point. Where are Minnie and the Mouseketeers? At the bottom of the mine, gasped Hook, deep in an enchanted sleep. Mickey bound that bad pirate up tight. Then down he raced to the bottom of the mine with a whole train of mine cars. Sure enough, there were Minnie and the Mouseketeers, deep in an enchanted sleep, and over them stood Malficient, the bad fairy. Mickey let a red apple roll toward her feet. Oh, cried Mickey, give that apple back to me. Don't touch it. Malficient leaped forward and picked the apple up. Don't taste it, cried Mickey. So Malficient, being a very bad fairy, of course took a bite of the apple, and down she fell, enchanted too. Now out from behind a rock appeared the wicked witch, who had used those sample apples to fool Snow White. When she saw Malficient enchanted too, she gave a shriek and raced off into the mine, and Mickey never saw her again. Mickey glanced at his watch. The freeway race was over. The Wild West story was almost done. There was not a moment to lose. But what was the charm to wake them up? If he could only think. Suddenly Mickey remembered. The kiss of true love. That was it. It had worked for Snow White and the Sleeping Beauty. He would try it on Minnie Mouse. It worked. Minnie woke up. So did all the Mouseketeers. Oh, Mickey, they cried, cried Minnie. You've come, you've saved us. But what about the show? The Mouseketeers asked Mickey anxiously. Come on, said Mickey, there's still time. So into the mine cars they jumped, and away they chugged, up, 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 through the Seven Dwarves Mine. Out in the castle courtyard, the waiting TV men were nervously mopping their brows. What if Mickey fails, they moaned. There are only two minutes to go. Just then, up from the Seven Dwarfs Mine, came chugging a speedy train of mine cars. Out jumped Mickey Mouse, waving his sword and shield. Out jumped Minnie and the Mouseketeers. Up jumped all the folks who had been enchanted all over Fantasyland. The carousel started turning, and the music started playing, and the show the Musketeers gave that day has never been equaled anywhere.